Hey guys, in this video we will see how to make this four different types of functional web shooters without using any springs or magnets. To begin with, we will see how to make this PS5 Miles Morals web shooter. It is functional and can sling web up to a pretty good distance. If you are planning to make this project, I have given links to all of the STL files in the description box below. I will be using black PLF filament to print the parts. With 0.4mm nozzle, it took me less than 3 hours to print all the parts. Make sure to use addition while printing this slinger stick. For finishing the part, you can either use spray paint or fabric paint. In my case, I used red and silver metal fabric paint to give it a final touch. To make this variable on any size wrist, I will be using this adjustable velcro strips. You can use this simple technique to attach elastic band to the main body. After adding elastic band, finally we can add velcro strips. Adding few drops of super glue will make the grip even more stronger. Now our web shooter is ready to rock and roll. Length of thread on slinger can be used as per your wish. Now we will see how to make this functional PS4 web shooter. It took me quite a while and lots of trial and errors to come up with this finished 3D model. I have given STL file links in the description box below. It has only two parts. First part or main body requires supports while printing and the slinger part only needs addition. It won't take much time to get the printing work done. After we have the printed parts, it requires some basic cleaning in the removal of support structures. For the final touch, I will use this silver and black color paints. Cut 
the strips from velcro band as per the size of your wrist. Add a drop of super glue to make this strip firm. For the slinger, add a piece of thread. And now finally add elastic band to the web shooter. Now you are ready to go. In this video, we are making this amazing Spider-Man web shooter without using any springs or magnets. We are completely using 3D printed parts to make this awesome web shooter. While printing, make sure you addition for the following parts. given links to all of the STL files in the description box below. I will be using PLA filaments to print all the parts. These are the 3D printed parts. Apart from that, we might need strips of velcro, a piece of thread, a rubber band. Follow these steps to attach rubber band to the main body. This is an optional step, you can directly use red velcro strips. In this video, I made this amazing Spider-Man web shooter without magnets and springs. The design is very easy and I will be leaving download links to all of the parts in the description below. While printing, make sure you use following settings. All the three parts need addition. You can use 40% infill rate for the main body. 80% infill rate for slinger and 50% for disc plate
I will be using black and red PLA filament to print this. After printing, there is very minimal assembly work. We will start by adding a red disc to the web shooter body. To make this variable on any size wrist, I will use these strips of velcro. Just insert the strip to the slot and add few drops of super glue. This will do the job. Power these web shooters, use a piece of elastic band. Just hook them up to the slots provided. I recommend using black color elastic bands. Sadly, I couldn't find any. So I will use these red colored elastic bands. To keep it intact, add a drop of super glue to these hooks. Finally, for the web, use length of thread as per your choice. Now our web shooter is ready for use. Watch these amazing clips of web shooter working. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.